Hello everyone. I'm back today to do some boxers. So I printed out my sheet on on ASAP roll. It is 13 by 25. And then I did um, four by 17. I'm gonna tape them together with double sided tape. And we're gonna press it and see how it how it goes. So you'll notice that this one doesn't have any um, white border or nothing, but this transfer does. So I'm gonna have to um, trim that. Cause you don't want any white border. Make sure there's no white. But if there's white, then there's no no um no ink is going to get there. Side of tape, and I'm just going to um, put it on there. There we go. And then you're gonna put this one I put too high. Let me see if I have to cut that other piece off or not. So I do. Sorry, this is taking longer. So this way I'm gonna also tape on the bottom over here to make sure. So we're gonna go ahead and slide this one underneath. Like that. Oh, I think that's white right there too. And you think you got it all off. It shows up. So first time doing these, we're gonna say um, how it um, how it works out. I'm gonna use a board. So it's still short right here on this bottom. So I'm going to have to go ahead and cut this. I was trying to 
trying to make a short video, not so long. If that's right, so I still have a little bit right there. I have this black paper right here. I'm just going to um cut it. Put it in the um put it in there. There we go. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other one. Hopefully, I don't have to do it to the other one. I was trying to figure out how to um, print them. So, some of them came out okay. Some of them I had to tape more than what I wanted to. But it's okay. We're all learning. On how to do it. This one too short. Yeah, he did. I'll just go like that. Double tape it. Um, behind. Okay, there we go. Okay, let me move you over to the press. I'm going to put my board down. This is 19 and a half by 27. You want your board a little bit bigger than what you're going to use it for. I'm going to go ahead and tape my paper down so it doesn't slide. Okay, let me cut this side that I want paper hanging over. And I can snag. Learned that already. So there you go, your paper is the size of your board. Okay, so let me get the underwear. 
we're going to go ahead and do the back first. Um, I guess let's pre-press it and see if I can get these wrinkles out. Press it. Heavy pressure. Four hundred. I'm I'm doing sixty seconds just because I have the board. The recommended time is forty five. definitely lint roll but I'm doing a full bleed so it doesn't matter okay so I do have some wrinkles still but I'm not gonna waste too much time on that that's not what it's about it's about taping your papers together using the board every press is different you gotta figure out which one's yours is like. You go from there. It's just showing that yes, it's possible. If you somewhat know what you're doing. And trial and error. That's the whole thing about learning. So I'll trial and error. My paper already started getting heated up, so. Okay, so let's move these up, let me see. Okay. Trying to make sure that the shorts are in the press. All right, so let me get, where's my pen? I'm gonna mark what part is out of the shorts. So right here, right there is what's out. And I can turn the board, do it that way. Tape is not going with it. took too long okay. and go ahead and mark your paper the top of your put your paper too and you kind of will know what side did not go in the press Oh my goodness, my little tiny at the end where I take the paper is not even in the press. You need some see through paper.
I just want to make sure because it's black. And then my press has to get back to the, t the correct temperature. So we're just going to slide the board over without disturbing your transfer. Just like that. back up to temperature so this is so much excitement so I'm going to just move it away from the heat because if you're not back up to the correct temperature it's not going to come out right because you don't have the temp correctly and then you'll get the white spots so we're just going to doo -doo -doo. We gotta be patient, patient. That's how we mess up. We don't take the time. We don't breathe. Okay. So let's slide it back over. Let me see where my board is. Let me make sure that my buckle is underneath, because the other side is not underneath, but we'll just focus on this part. Okay, here we go. And I'm short, and the board's in my way. <sighs> and then we still got one more to do. And I didn't even prep this one either. I'm going to cut this one, keep it. And we can do the other side and see if we have to make any adjustments or anything. Temperature drop too. So let's wow. Wow, wow, wow. So that paper's it bled on my board. You can see. So I'm gonna have to get thicker paper for that. Whoosh, it's hot. Here you go. So on the bottom, it you know that part wasn't in the press like I said because I had was more worried about the buckle, I mean the waistband. So here you go. So let's do the other side. So those lines you see. Those are from the front, so we're going to go ahead and press it. Again, let me take this back up. And then I'll be right over there. Okay. 
gonna do the same thing like I did with the other one. Double tape it. Trying to hurry, but not hurry. So weird, this one I don't have to put the little papers on the bottom. Okay. Well, that's good. At least the front will look good. Okay, <laughs> let's do it again. Let's get the piece of paper. We've got all this tape on here. Matter of fact, let me get a let me get a thicker paper. This is butcher paper. So let's go ahead and use this one. So the other one bleeds through. And let's tape it. Because the paper slides. Let's see if I can use reuse the tape that's already there. to do so that means I got my pressured right okay oh let me get a piece right there because I'm not gonna waste time trying to um, line that up this segment is just basically to show you that you can double press. It is possible, and that's why I did black, because it will show through if, you know, if you didn't tape your paper properly. So, let's go ahead and do that. Um, I think it's gonna, you don't need a jig. You don't need paper inside. It's not gonna bleed through, but I didn't press it for the um for it to line up. So I will show all that. These are very good quality. They're silky smooth, honestly. Um. Sorry, it's taking so long. Thought I had it all. Thing been working on it for days. Whoops, cut that one too short. Okay, so we're just gonna do this right here on the side, just because I didn't line them up. That's it. It's not that it's gonna bleed through or anything like that. If you are more skilled than me and got more patience than me more power to you to line them up but I don't so let's do it this way again so let me see make sure my waist let me adjust it okay so just I don't really I'm more focused on the waist being all the way in the press then the tiny hair that's going to stick out honestly these are for my son only the top shows when they're sagging their pants so we'll just focus on that part so let's hopefully i don't take too long again okay Oops. I'm 
trying to see where the words are going to be. Oh my goodness, don't tell me I taped it upside down. I sure did. I taped it upside down. Okay, hold on. I was like, why are the words falling off? And hopefully you guys all learn something. That's what it's all about. The do's and don'ts. The do's and don'ts. That's why I was trying to figure out why I didn't need to put nothing on the bottom. But it lined up. It kind of threw me off. Should have knew better. Make sure you get all the white off. That's what you have to do. Make sure you get the white off. You don't want that to show. So now it's working better. Okay. Whoops. Move the paper. I want to make sure that the waste is covered. Some more butcher paper. Oh, here's one. Usually, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> New projects are always fun. So this will be a good gift for the holidays. Okay, we're just going to go with that. And let me cut this paper, then it doesn't snag. I wonder if I'm cutting the other paper. Oh my goodness. It's becoming a hot mess now. It's a hot mess. See why the words are not there. Other side is on. Okay, let's just go. Ugh. Okay. So mark your paper, then you kind of know 
where you been or you haven't been with your press. So 400 60 second with heavy duty pressure when you use the board. If you do it without the board, then just do the regular medium to slash heavy pressure. And some people are lucky to do it without the board. They use the spray, they tape. As you can see, I like to freestyle. I don't like to use neither. I just like to lay my image on top and go with it. But if you could put spray and you're comfortable with the spray and you don't need the board, then that's totally fine as long as your paper stays on there. And then once again, my pressure dropped. I mean, my, my price. Oh my goodness. The heat dropped. So we're going to have to wait to, um, for it to come up. And be careful. The board is hot. We dropped about almost 10 degrees. Hopefully you learned something. What to do, what not to do. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. The do's and don'ts. I know a lot of people might be hesitant to double tape two images together. But when it's done correctly, you won't have the lines. The lines is not from double pressing, as we're going to find out. But I double pressed the other side, and there was no lines from double pressing. And my paper did not have any... Um, white lines on it to stop um, the ink from going. Woo! So well, let's go ahead and put this one in again. Kind of hard to see where I'm at. So we're gonna go right there and I'm double pressing Oh, wow, I did it on the wrong side. Okay, let's move it over. I forgot I turned the board. So I don't even have the press. <laughs> it needs to be in the press. There we go. So this part right down here. It only got the 30 seconds. So I'll probably do another 30 seconds. I forgot I turned the board and I needed the waistband in the press and not the, the legs in the press.
Well, as you can see, I just pressed three times on these ones. Okay, so just move your board a little bit. Then you can take your transfer off. So here's my transfer. It's state to the paper. So here's the transfer. Oh, the ink was off. So let me take the little paper out. And you can still see that there's moisture so that, pay, that plays a big part in if you get these on your item. This is moisture that's on your item. It means you need to pre-press it longer and press it longer. You gotta figure it out. Because everyone, everyone is different. But you don't want that. That's a pressure issue with moisture still in your item, regardless of what item it is. So let's see, we did the front this time. So here's the front. So as you can see where I taped, you don't see this is part of it. So that's not my doing. That's just part of the, the garment. So if you don't see any white lines, and then you're double pressing. So over here, like I was saying with the, this is where I did the 30 seconds where I didn't um, have it in the right spot. So you'll get that if it's not enough time. And then as you can see, it still had moisture. So if I would have did it the other 30 seconds, it would have came out like it did over here on this side where it was all taped. So moisture, from pressing. So there you go. I'm very proud. First set of boxers. And this is on black. And we all know how hard black is. So I did I picked black even though it was a lot of ink to show that you can double tape your images together. And you're not going to get the lines or whatever. Down here, remember, I didn't put my paper. And then that's from the crease. So that doesn't have anything to do with what I'm demonstrating today. Double pressing with the board. Double taping your image comes out fine. As long as you want to work on the little airs. That's totally fine. But then the, my video would have been about five hours long. So I try to keep them very short. This among is very long. So I just wanted to show it's possible. And no ghosting. Oops. There's no ghosting. Why? Because the board, my butcher paper was taped to the board, then it couldn't move. And then my items were taped properly to make sure. So here's the back. The lines in the video right here, that's showing the front of where the crotch is seen. But as you can see, it does not bleed through. You don't need any butcher paper inside, nothing. So you just have to take your time and have some patience. Thank you for watching. Any comments, drop them. I'll be happy to answer them the best I can. Until next time, have a good one.